Some people have asked me how I put the graphics on these airplanes. And I started to do this one and I thought, oh wait a minute, well I'll just hold on a second and I'll show people. Anyway, this is the graphic that I'm going to put on the tail of that airplane. I downloaded it off the internet, scale it to size. The key is I've taken the backing off the monocoat and then ironed the monocoat down onto the glass. Now the iron is a little bit tricky to iron the monocoat down onto the glass. I usually cover it with a paper towel and then iron it through the paper towel. So it's ironed to the glass. Now, tape on the graphics. I'm going to cut out everything that's not black. So that's going to take me a while and there's no reason to video that. So I'll be back after I've cut out everything but the black. I just go around it like that. I'll show you later. Okay, I'm cutting and I'm continuing to cut, and I like to peel the stuff back so I see where I'm at. And I'm backwards. I'm going to have to do the black and lay it aside, and then do the white because I think the way this the black lays over top the white, I should have cut the white first. So I'll go ahead and finish this black, but then I'm going to have to do the white and transfer that to the tail and then lay the black over top. Okay. So there's all the black. Now it's in position where I want it. Now the tricky part is transferring it from here to over there onto the wing. And the best thing I've found to do that is just to use scotch tape and just tape it. You know, I'll, I'll, you just lay a piece of tape, I can't do it and hold the camera, across and then you lay layers. I'll do it and then I'll show you the result. See, I've scotch tape overlapping the previous tape by about half of the tape thickness. And I'll go over the whole thing like that and then I'll lift it off the glass. Okay, so I put the scotch tape on there and I had to do a couple across. And I'm going to lift it off of there. It's going to be kind of hard to do. And hold on. But you see, monocoat does not stick to the glass as well as the tape sticks to the monocoat. So I'll continue to peel that off of there. I'm going to set it aside because I have to do the white first and then we'll put it on the tail. Okay, so I'm getting ready to do the white and I figured since I missed showing you how to do iron this stuff down, I'll do this when I do the white. This is acetone. So I'm cleaning the glass with acetone. Okay. Here's the little piece of white that I'm going to use. And I usually take a piece of paper towel, lay over top of it, and then just iron it down to the glass. This keeps it from shrinking and gives me a good flat surface that adheres pretty well to the glass. Now I'm going to need more because I got a couple cards I got to get over there. So I'm going to put another little piece of white over there and then I'll be ready to start cutting again. Okay, got the white down. And I'm ready to cut the white out and I won't be as careful because all I need is big blocks of white because the black's going to be all the detail. Okay, there's the white. 
I'll do the same thing with the scotch tape and I'll put the white down first okay so now we have the black and we have the white and I'm ready to transfer them over onto the tail so that's the next step okay here's the tail here's the graphic and I was thinking about having the feet touch the tape but since I'm going to put the white on first somehow I've got a mark where that white goes and then we'll clean it with acetone and then we'll be ready to go with the white So we want to iron down through the tape. The camera shut off on me for some reason, for no reason at all. Now that I have it in place, we'll iron down all the spots. And the adhesive on the monocoat is actually stronger than the adhesive on this tape. You still have to be careful though, because when you peel the tape off, you can it's not ironed down very good, it will lift. And I see where I might have made a mistake, but we'll see when we're ironing it down. It's going to take some monocoat for that hinge, which may make these a little bit too short. I think I can adjust for it. So now we've ironed it down. I'm going to start taking the tape off very slowly. Now we need to iron a little bit more. There. I'm going to take that all off. Try and take it off like you'd be taking off masking tape from a paint job. Bring this, it seems to be working okay. And that one seems to be lifting okay. Let's see if this is ironed down good enough. Yep. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this one stays put. Yeah, it's going to stay put in that direction. Oh, nope. That's easy to fix. I just put the template up there and iron down that way. Next step is the black. Okay, got the black in position. It's not really perfect, but you're not going to be able to see any flaws unless I tell you where they're at. <laughs> So I'll iron those down and then I'll pull the tape off and I'll let you see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, there you have it. As good as it's going to get. It's ironed down and cleaned. Acetone's got a little bit of black bled, but it ain't going to hurt it any. I think it'll look pretty sharp. But that's how it's done. All in all, that took about two hours. See you later.